All right, everybody, Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries, you know the deal. Judges chapter 7, we're going to read about Gideon. Verse uh, Judges 7 and 1. Then Jerubbabal, who is Gideon, and all the people that were with him, rose up early and pitched beside the well of Herod, so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them by the hill of Morah in the valley. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand hath saved me. See, when the Lord does something, he is going to get the glory. That's just the way it is. Verse 3, Now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. So anybody that's afraid of what's, you know, the battle that's coming, go home. We don't need you. And there returned to the people 20 and 2,000, and there remained 10,000. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. You know, there's too many. There's still too many. Bring them down under the water, and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, This shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee, This shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he brought down the people unto the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, Every one that lappeth of the water with his tongue as a dog lappeth, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise, every one that boweth down upon his knees to drink. And the number of them that lapped, putting their mouth, uh, putting their hand to their mouth, were three hundred men. So evidently they put their hands in the water, and then put the hand up to the mouth to drink. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that lapped, you know, like took their hands and dipped it in the water and brought it up to their mouth, uh, By the three hundred men that lapped will I save you and deliver the Midianites into thine hand, and let all the other people go, every man unto his place. So the people took victuals in their hand, victuals as food, and their trumpets. And he sent all the rest of Israel, every man unto his tent, and retained those 300 men. And the host of Midian was beneath him in the valley. So you got 300 men against an army. 300 against an army. Of course, when you got the Lord, uh, it's not even a challenge. But And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Arise, get thee down unto the host, for I have delivered it into thine hand. But if thou fear to go down, go thou with Fura, thy servant, down to the host. And thou shalt hear what they say, and afterward shall thine hands be strengthened to go down unto the host. Then he went down with Fura, his servant, unto the outside of the armed men that were with, that were in the host. All right, verse twelve. And the Midianites, and the Amalekites, and all the children of the east lay along in the valley like grasshoppers for multitude, and their camels were without number, as the sand by the seaside for multitude. So here it is, you got a few hundred Israel and an entire army facing them. And when Gideon was come, behold, there was a man that told a dream by his fellow and said, Behold, 
I dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host of Midian, and came unto a tent, and smote it that it fell, and overturned it, that the tent lay along. And his fellow answered and said, This is nothing else save the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel, for into his hand hath God delivered Midian and all the host. And it was so when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof that he worshipped and returned into the host of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord hath delivered into your hand the host of Midian. And he divided the three hundred men into three companies. So you got three groups of a hundred. And he put a trumpet in every man's hand with empty pitchers and lamps within the pitchers. And he said unto them, Look on me and do likewise. And behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall be that as I do, so shall ye do. When I blow with a trumpet, I and all that are with me, then blow ye the trumpets on every side of all the camp, and say, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch, and they had but newly set the watch, and they blew the trumpets and break the pitchers that were in their hands. So here it is. Uh, when you're in the military, you have a, a watch at night or all daytime too. And there's only a certain amount of time that each watch is. Um, you know, a watch might be for two hours or four hours. And then you get relieved. And then somebody else, you know, comes on duty to take your place. So they had just switched the guards. They That's what it means, newly set the watch. And uh, so if you got three groups of 100, it's... They're probably in kind of a pyramid formation. You know, each one, one at the top and two on the sides, lower sides, kind of like in a pyramid shape. So they're going around this army. So, verse, so they blew the trumpets and they broke the pitchers that were in their hands. 20, and the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pitchers and held the lamps in their left hands and the trumpets in the right hands were blown to blow with all. And they cried, the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And they stood every man in his place round about the camp and all the host ran and cried and fled. And the 300 blew the trumpets and the Lord set every man's sword against his fellow, even throughout all the host and the host fled to Beth Sheeta in Zerath and to the border of Abel Mahola unto Taboth. And the men of Israel gathered themselves together out of Naphtali and out of Asher and out of all Manasseh pursued after the Midianites. So evidently, when it means that every man's sword against his fellow, it means that everybody grabbed their swords and the Midianites, and because, I guess it was dark, they start fighting with each other. They're not fighting against Israel, they're fighting each other and killing each other. Uh, in the military, they call that friendly fire because a friendly bullet can kill you just as dead as an enemy's bullet. It happens a lot more than we would care to admit, but it happens, you know. You know, they start shooting at your own people or killing your own people. Happens all the time. And Gideon sent messengers throughout all Mount Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianites and take before them the waters unto Beth Barah and, and Jordan, then all the men of 
Ephraim gathered themselves together and took the waters unto Beth Barah and Jordan. And they took two princes of the Midianites, Oreb and Zeb, and they slew Oreb upon the rock Oreb, and slew and Zeb they slew at the winepress of Zeb, and pursued Midian, and brought the heads of Oreb and Zeb to Gideon on the other side, Jordan. So evidently there's a pretty good slaughter going on here. They took uh, two of the princes and uh, killed them. So that is the end of chapter 7. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.